one session, and I'm with Judge George C. Paris presiding. You may be seated. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. <laughs> Lauren Kinney, 4501-1508-MI-199. Good afternoon. Can you want to raise your right hand and be sworn? You solemnly swear for him to have the whole truth and nothing but truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Please be seated. Lauren, please state the name for the record. Lauren Kinney. Yoder v. Bernard Carter, 45 CR 115, OMI 198. Mr. Yoder, you want to raise your right hand and be sworn? You saw me swear for him, tell the whole truth, and nothing but truth, the best of your knowledge. Please be seated. Not a commercial driver. 
Or if your license is currently suspended because the DMV is deemed to be a habitual traffic problem, is that correct? Yes. Now, that took place earlier this year? Yes. As far as alcohol-related offenses, the last time you were arrested for any kind of operating while intoxicated was back in 2011, is that correct? Yes. As a result of your sentence in that case, did you complete an alcohol program? Yes. And again, you understand the purpose of this license is to be able to drive to and from work, as well as basic life necessities to support yourself and your family? Yes. Do you currently have a vehicle? Yes. Is that vehicle insured? Yes. The insurance is up to date? Yes. No further questions. Madam Prosecutor, anything? No questions, Your Honor. Where do you work? Holland Railroad Contracting in Laquita, Illinois. Okay. You can step down. Your Honor, does the State have proof of valid insurance? Does it have to be referred to the court's discretion? Okay. The court grants the petition. Thank you. Your Honor, may I approach the court? Yes. Craig, Adam, Patton, Mr. Bernard Carter, 45-01-1508-MI-193. Mr. Patton, you may raise your right hand and be sworn. Do you solemnly swear or affirm to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Please be seated.
Anthony Fox says the Bernard Carter 4501 1507 MI169. So you're going to raise your right hand and be sworn. Do you solemnly swear or swear or affirm to the whole truth? No, we've got truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Please be seated. Anthony R. Fox. Harbor versus Bernard Carter, 45 CO 1509, MI 230. Mr. Harbor, you want to raise your right hand and be sworn. Do you solemnly swear or affirm to tell the whole truth to nothing but truth to the best of your knowledge? I do. Please be seated. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Does this lack of 
driver's license create a hardship for you to and from work? Yes. And are you requesting that the specialized driving privilege be granted so you can go to and from grocery stores or other places to obtain license necessities? Yes. On August 12th, did you plead guilty to an OWI at Class 8 misdemeanor? Yes. And are you now a habitual traffic violator due to that OWI, sir? Yes. And are you now suspended as a habitual traffic violator from September 19, 2015 to September 16, 2025? Yes. Furthermore, you, are you suspended for failure to file insurance from September 29, 2015 to December 28, 2015? Yes. Are you currently treating for any medical issues? Yes. And for that, what are you currently in any kind of alcohol programs at this time? Yes. No further questions. No, sir. You just stepped down. Your Honor, we do have proof of valid insurance. However, um, we would ask that if the court is inclined to grant the specialized driver privileges, that um, ignition interlock be provided. We have an operating while intoxicated conviction um, on August 12th of this year. That is true. It's definitely All right. And we're back six months. Okay. Martinez versus Bernard Carter, 45-C-01-1508-MI-196. Good afternoon. Martinez, you want to raise your right hand and be sworn? Do you solemnly swear or affirm to all the whole truth and nothing but truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Please be seated. Please get your Do not have a seat. 
and driving privileges have been suspended by the Bureau of Motor Vehicles because we have been determined to be a conditional traffic violation. Is that correct? And that determination was made on 3-19-2015. And that suspension will run for 10 years. You are, are you working? Who are you working with? All right, 90 days the interlock, and uh, with either submitted order, yes, submit proof of insurance with the order, and okay. copy the state with the insurance. Yes. All right, okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, who do you have? Okay. 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 Yes, sir. Rose and Christian. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Just sign these two, and then we have one more to sign. All right, uh, Jesse Sanchez versus Bernard Carr, 45 CLM 1510 MI 240. So you want to raise your right hand? You sign and swear for him to tell all truth and nothing but truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, I do. Please be seated. Yes, 
and that's a hardship on uh, your family to grab your money. Yes, it is. And uh, you understand that if the court were to grant you special driving privilege, that it um, would only use that for work, court, and for other um, purposes such as Anything? Do you currently have this about an insurance? I do not. I do not want to be on this time. No questions, John. You can step down. Thank you. Judge, regarding the insurance, it seems like Frank does obtain insurance. Um, you could, uh, <coughs> He has to show proof before you can grant this. Can yes, Your Honor, we would ask that the court um, say the granting of the privilege until there is um, insurance. And um, other than that, we would defer to the court's discretion. Yeah, I grant the petition, but it's contingent on obtaining insurance. Should I submit the order uh, once he has insurance? Yeah. Okay. Submit I'll the order with the, the, with the insurance. With the insurance. And the he's going to drive his father's car, he's got to be covered on his, under their policy here. As long as he's got coverage. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you, Judge.